Hey guys, um, it's Tuesday, kind of, except not really. I lied. It's actually Wednesday, because um, I forgot to film on Tuesday, so it's like 2 in the morning, so I have to be quiet. And uh, I was about to go to sleep, but then I was watching a movie, and I looked at the little like clock up like in the corner of my computer, and it said Wednesday, and I was like, oh my god, I forgot to film my video! So here I am. I'm filming in blue so you can't see my face. I change things up a little bit because I look tired otherwise, basically. Are we finally free to talk about Harry Potter? I think so. I I love the movie much better than Deathly Hallows Part 1. Um, I don't really have any real criticisms. I think maybe they could have explained the, the wand exchanges a little better. Um, I don't think J.K. Rowling really explained it that well in the book either, or it was just confusing the way she did. Um, so maybe it's not their fault. Um, other than that, oh, and the awkward hug between Voldemort and Malfoy, like what? What was that? The Dark Lord is like the epitome of evil. He is a metaphor for all things immoral. Like he's not supposed to hug someone. That's weird. Oh, I'm on my new bed, by the way. Um, which isn't actually a bed, it's just an air mattress. I think I mentioned that last week. But yeah. So, but I, I really love the movie. I thought the cinematography was gorgeous. Um, now I'm sad. And just constantly reblogging Harry Potter gifts on Tumblr to try to fill the void. <laughs> theme this week is movies and I would have to say my favorite movie is Pulp Fiction. If you haven't seen it, go see it, but you may need to see it twice because it's filmed in a non-linear format and uh, it can get pretty confusing. There's three separate storylines. Um, brilliant Tarantino film. I love that guy. I've seen all his movies. Um, it's weird. It just blows your mind. It's just such an amazing movie. Um, some people don't like it. It's either like you love it or you hate it type of thing. Um, um, another film I like that I was actually uh, just finished watching, uh, that was when I looked at the time and realized it was Wednesday, um, was The Graduate. Um, that was a really interesting film. Um, if you've seen 500 Days of Summer, they reference The Graduate in it, and I would really recommend seeing The Graduate. It'll help you understand 500 Days of Summer just so much better. Mm. What else? Oh, I also love Fight Club. Um, it's just the best. Uh, it's also my favorite book, as I think I've mentioned. Oh, the movie's amazing. <laughs> In my uh, ecology class, um, we're watching a documentary that's um, narrated by Edward Norton, an actor in Fight Club, so it's really weird seeing him talk about, like, jaguars. <laughs> Daniel, I, I love Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. That is a great movie. Uh, yeah, I love the sort of, like, comic book feel it has. And I, I really like Michael Sarah. um... I'm a huge fan of the TV show Arrested Development. Yeah, it was back in the early 2000s. But uh, that was like Michael Sarah's first role. So I just finished watching all three seasons, or all the seasons of Arrested Development all the way through. So, ooh, Harry Potter was so good. <sighs> Daniel, I think you should play for us. In fact, I am making next week's theme creativity. So just anything you do um, as like a creative outlet, you can show us next week. Um, I look forward to it. And that is the theme. I did not forget. I play a little bit of guitar. Um, I sing and stuff. Oh, I mentioned that last week. But yeah, I'm getting better. Yeah. My class is almost over, it's finals week, um, so I have to study for my final and write my paper. Blech. But uh, all of August I have free until, well actually most of August I have free, and then I go back to school August 22nd. 
for my last year of high school. It's weird. It went by really fast. Um, so I'm going to be starting to apply to colleges and uh, finish driving, turn 18. It's pretty exciting. Anyways, um, I think that's all I had to say for today. Um, oh, okay, Daniel, I know you're reciting your poem, but you could not use that as a cop-out for not doing something else creative. So in addition to your, your punishment, you also have to stick to the theme. Alright, um, I think that was all I had to say for today. I'm trying to be quiet. There's, like, people in the next room, so hopefully you can hear me. I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!